short haul flying often takes a toll in ways familiar to many travelers. Spending hours at a busy hub for only a brief 40-minute flight, dealing with late returns cut short by curfews, and watching routine turbine maintenance divert budgets meant for actual trips all add to the frustration. On top of that, there's the constant hassle of gate changes, weather delays, security lines, and the never-ending shuffle between parking shuttles and terminals. Suddenly, what should be a simple regional hop starts to feel anything but simple. Enter the 2026 Tesla Super Electric Plane, designed to change the game for regional travel with four transformative features aimed at redefining time, access, and cost. This flight isn't about breaking speed records, but about rethinking the entire experience, transforming smaller airports near homes into smarter options, turning downtime on the ground into strategic advantages, and creating cabins built for real passenger needs and gear, not just showroom appeal. Let's dive into each innovation and explore what it means for a 300 to 800 mile journey's cost and reliability. First, let's talk about what makes the Tesla Super Electric Plane the best electric choice for short haul routes. The biggest challenge for electric planes is the long ground time required for charging. Typically, for every 60 minutes of flight, about 30 minutes of charging is needed, which quickly erodes any time saved in the air on regional trips. Tesla solves this problem by swapping energy instead of waiting to charge. Pre-charge battery trays are ready at the airport, so crews simply pull out the depleted tray and slide in a fully charged one, transforming charging into a quick, refueling-style stop. This is possible thanks to Tesla's modular design. Each battery tray sits in the plane's belly and can be quickly accessed by lifts or robotic systems. Mechanical latches lock trays securely with sensors ensuring safety before power is routed. The system monitors temperature and voltage in real time, and high voltage plugs allow fast handling. By placing heavy charging equipment on the ground instead of on board, the plane is lighter and simpler. Ground charging happens at centralized depots, keeping power demand steady and avoiding surges right at the gate. This pre-charged tray infrastructure means the plane spends roughly five minutes swapping batteries compared to the typical 30 minutes needed for charging after every short flight leg. Over a six-leg day of 60-minute flights, this can save 150 minutes on the ground, a game-changer allowing more flights, less crew downtime, and better punctuality at small airports with limited slots. From a financial standpoint, this approach shifts battery, wear, and maintenance to the ground where it's cheaper and faster to fix or replace trays. Battery-as-a-service models separate battery costs from the plane itself, allowing operators to pay monthly or per use, reducing upfront expenses and turning batteries into predictable operating costs. The U.S. has over 5,000 public-use airports, so the super-electric plane can quickly serve regional centers without needing custom infrastructure. In short, the 2026 Tesla Super Electric Plane relies on battery swapping to reduce ground time, utilizes short takeoff and landing capabilities, SDOL, to access existing airports, features a minimalist electric motor to lower failure risks, and integrates an automated, safety-focused cockpit to reduce pilot workload. Together, these innovations aim to make 300 to 800 mile trips more controllable, cost transparent, and reliable. Next. How does Tesla plan to achieve rapid five-minute turnarounds using the U.S.'s dense public airport network? The Tesla Super Electric Plane's SDOL design leverages existing runways at over 5,000 public airports, meaning no waiting for new facilities. Unlike VTOL vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft, which require expensive vertiports with rigorous FAA requirements typically hard to implement in urban areas, SDOL aircraft simply take off and land on conventional runways. This cuts preparation time and costs, allowing new routes to launch quickly with realism. Stoll's aerodynamic advantage comes from distributed electric propulsors along the wings and dedicated lift motors, as NASA's X-57 project shows. These systems boost lift during takeoff, allowing the plane to use shorter runways, around 1,100 meters in some designs without expansion, ideal for regional airports. By avoiding hover power, 
which demands high energy and is less efficient, the Tesla Super Electric Plane maximizes range and efficiency for trips of 300 to 800 miles. Regarding maintenance, the Tesla Super Electric Plane's electric motor core comes with far fewer moving parts than traditional turbine engines. Electric motors primarily consist of a rotor spinning on two bearings, with the stator fixed and current managed electronically. This design eliminates pistons, valves, combustion chambers, turbines, and heavy gearboxes, translating to fewer failure points, lighter maintenance, and longer service life. Efficiency is a key strength as well. Modern electric aviation motors operate near 95% efficiency in their effective range, wasting minimal energy as heat. Reduced heat means less stress and need for cooling hardware. Tesla's system delivers high takeoff power momentarily and then settles into steady output without thermal strain. The motor's permanent magnet design provides high torque at low RPM with a flat torque curve, allowing direct drive of the propeller without heavy reduction gearboxes. Maintainability is built into the system. The motor, inverter, and battery pack are designed as line-replaceable modules, which technicians can swap quickly on the tarmac to reduce downtime. The inverter is split into multiple independent channels, so a localized fault doesn't cause total thrust loss, and per-channel data, logging accelerates diagnostics. Lubrication and cooling are simple, primarily cooling windings and lubricating bearings, with an oil loop much less complex than turbine systems. Bearing life, rated often between 20,000 and 40,000 hours, depending on load and conditions, enables condition-based maintenance based on vibration, temperature, and electrical metrics. Electric 9-seat aircraft target operating costs around $200 per flight hour, compared to $600 to $1,000 for comparable fossil fuel planes. This makes the Tesla Super Electric Plane more economical for operators offering steadier scheduling with fewer unexpected maintenance interruptions. The plane prioritizes quick inspections, module swaps, and fast returns to service, eliminating routine turbine oil changes, gearbox overhauls, and combustion inspections. When it comes to safety, the Tesla Super Electric Plane's cockpit is designed for simplicity and automation to reduce pilot workload while increasing safety margins. Instead of cluttered controls, pilots see three main flight modes, economy, normal, and fast, and select their goal while the system maintains speed and bank within safe limits. In conclusion, the 2026 Tesla Super Electric Plane combines battery swapping for rapid turnarounds, STOL access to thousands of local airports, a minimalist electric motor minimizing failure and maintenance, and advanced cockpit automation enhancing safety. These innovations position it to make 300 to 800 mile regional trips predictable, affordable, and more environmentally friendly, a promising glimpse of the future of air travel.